What is happening YouTube? Cowboy here and welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm Strategy Showcase and today we are taking a look at Joanna the Crusader. So Blizzard did a fantastic job transitioning the Crusader from Diablo 3 over into Heroes of the Storm. She's a ton of fun to play, probably one of the most entertaining warriors in the current meta of the game. Pretty easy to learn and on top of that she is absolutely devastating in team fights when played correctly. So to take a look at our abilities, first up we have Punish, Damage and Slow Enemies. Pretty decent ability, you know, relatively alright damage, but the more important thing is we get a 60% slow over 2 seconds, and this is in a Frontal Cone AoE. It's a short AoE, but it is a Frontal Cone, and it's it's great, you know, because Joanna has that chase potential. So you get up on enemies, and then you're hitting them with Punish, and that's slowing them just enough for your teammates to catch up and secure those kills. Moving on from there, we have Condemn, which is an awesome ability. Basically, when you pop Condemn, you get an AoE around your character. After one second, all enemies within that AoE get yanked towards you, stunned for a quarter of a second, and dealt damage. Now, what's great about this is, you know, normally you have those team fights where you're kind of waiting for the tank to get in there, and, you know, maybe Diablo doesn't want to charge in, or ETC's being a little apprehensive about, you know, sliding in, they got some strong ranged characters. Joanna just pops Iron Skin, runs on in, drops the Condemn, yanks like three enemies over, and then punishes them all. So then they're all, they get, you know, yanked in, stunned, and then slowed. And then your team just jumps on them like a bunch of hangry hounds on like fresh meat, you know? It's brutal. Moving on from there, we have Shield Glare, which is amazing in team fights. Right now, the only other glare mechanic in the game is the blind that comes out of Lili's Binding Wind. And on top of that, that's only two enemies unless you upgrade it to the four. And that's what makes Shield Glare so brutal, you know? It's, it's got amazing range on it. It's a frontal cone AoE, very long range. And on top of that, the fact that you can hit an entire enemy team with it, blinding them for four seconds, that's massive in team fights, especially when they got heavy hitters like Nova or Thrall. So, of course, our trait, Iron Skin, an absolutely amazing trait that really does round out Joanna's move set here. Um, basically, we get a pretty sizable shield, but the more important thing is the unstoppable trait that we gain for four seconds. So what does unstoppable mean? Unstoppable means no hero abilities in the game will be able to stop you. Now, I will say this with the caveat that you have to have it up before the ability starts. You know, if you get caught in an ETC's mosh pit, you can't pop Iron Skin mid mosh pit. But if you see ETC with mosh pit up, you could pop Iron Skin, pop Condemn, and interrupt it. Um, you can pop this and run through Zagara's Maul. You can, you know, pop this. You can pop this and run through anything. You know, that's that's what's so beautiful about it. No abilities are able to stop you when this is up. And for a tank that needs to, you know, punch through the front line and initiate and grab enemy heroes, it's an absolutely beautiful trait. So as for heroics, we have two choices. Both very good in my opinion. It really just depends on your team comp and what you need. Um, the first being more an interrupt. Well, I shouldn't say an interrupt because Blessed Shield is a superior interrupt, but Falling Sword, some decent damage, and on top of that, decent chase potential with it, especially if you upgrade it. Blessed Shield, a nice AoE stun. So to go more into them, the way Falling Sword works is you leap up into the air, and you have a little reticle you can move around, kind of similar to um, Tyriel's Death Explosion. And basically, after two seconds, you land where that's at, dealing pretty high damage, and on top of that, knocking enemy enemies up into the air, which will interrupt active abilities. <laughs> Moving on to our other choice, we have Blessed Shield. Just lets you throw out a shield, the first enemy you hit gets stunned for two seconds, and then the shield will bounce to two additional enemies and stun them for one second. So this is a pretty devastating heroic, just because, you know, especially early on in the game, you know, you take maps like Mines or Temples, and you always see these, like, mini team fights breaking out, where it's like two on three or three on three, sometimes, you know, four on three, and having a three-man stun in that fight is huge. So, either way, let's go into the talents real fast here. We're just going to show you what we would pick, and then, of course, in the match, we'll explain each choice as we get to it. So, the basic talent build here would be Reinforce. For longer games, I would consider Regen Master. At 4, Laws of Hope. At 7, the Crusade marches on. At 10, I like both choices. Really depends on what your comp is. If you need the stun, don't hesitate to take Blessed Shield. If you have plenty of CC on your team, Falling Sword is a great choice. At 13, we go for Burning Rage. Now, I did scroll over Holy Ground for a second there, and this is probably the most popular talent at the moment. And it is good, you know, 20% more on the Iron Skin Shield, and on top of that, if it's destroyed, the cooldown's reduced for 4 seconds. 
but honestly I feel Burning Rage helps you out a lot more because you're constantly on top of enemies, constantly grouping them up. That damage is going to help you out quite a bit. Um, going into 16, we go for Holy Renewal. And then at 20, if you took Bless Shield, I would suggest Indestructible. You don't really need the 5-man the bounce. If you took Falling Sword, however, Heaven's Fury is an amazing upgrade. So either way, let's jump into it, show you what she's capable of. I mean, I got her, picked her up as soon as she was released, got her up to level 5 the same day. Oh, this is a pretty solid team. Double support, Rainer and Illidan. Should be a decent match. Been getting nothing but mines lately. Which isn't a bad thing necessarily, because Joanne is brutal on the mines, but she should do alright on Dragon Shrine. Yeah, as I was saying though, this this hero is she's a lot of fun. And I think what it is is when I think about other tanks. I think she has probably some of the better chase potential. You know, ETC is pretty brutal with his power slides. You know, Arthas has his root, Diablo has the charge. But being able to have that slow and then condemn and then unstoppable, it makes it really hard to peel a Joanna. Like, if you don't have an increased movement speed perk, you're not going to get away from Joanna. It's that simple. So, really awesome tank in that regard and great for helping your team to secure those early kills. Probably Illidan and Malfurion, me and Tass, and then I'm guessing Tychus mid. That would make the most sense to me at least, but we'll see. It's a quick match, so I don't expect anything crazy of the guys in quick match. I've come to learn that. Quick match is, is a casual area where I get to play, have fun, record. You know, it's hard to record in, in Hero League because I can't really explain the talents ahead of time. All right, let's see what they have. They have a Thrall, so definitely going to go for Reinforce here. Um, let's see. Who? I don't know. Anyway, so for our first talent, we picked Reinforce. Relatively simple. Using basic abilities reduces the next basic attack against you by 50%, maximum two stacks. Um, basically, it's block, but we get block every time we use an ability. So especially against something like Thrall, this is quite powerful. I don't know why he's AFK, but whatever. Hopefully, Elden survives all right. Thrall's in this lane. Awesome. Thrall and Kerrigan. Toss out a blind. And don't be afraid to use your, uh, you know, use your iron skin. It's, it's there for a reason. Really needs to heal up. This Tassadar is still AFK. having this. Get out of here, Kerrigan. See, got that unstoppable up. Dodge the stun. Ooh. Oh, there was the block. Wasn't enough, though. Rainer didn't make it back in time. This already sucks, though. They got almost a full XP lead on us because our Tassadar has been AFK for half the game. Oh, boy. This is no bueno. Come on, Rainer. Get it, buddy. Nope. Oh, either way. Level 1 Dragon Knight. I'm going to focus on pushing for now. Need to close the XP, XP gap while Kerrigan's dead. So here, Laws of Hope, 
uh, pretty much hands down. You know, you could consider amplified healing, but at the end of the day, having your own health regen is just amazing. You know, it's we, we get see we're getting regen out of this, and we're getting that burst heal. That's that's huge. You know, it's hard to beat that. Mirror Thrall. Just hoping to condemn him and pull him on over. If they get close enough, I'll suck him into the tower. Good siege damage in so far. Oh, they got him. That sucks. Um, so from here, Crusade March is on. Relatively simple. It's basically battle momentum, but for your heroic. So with this, um, every time we use a basic or a heroic ability, Iron Skin is going to be reduced by 1.5 second. And over time, this builds up. You know, it, it really does add up. It helps to get this off cooldown a lot faster. Um, the biggest thing to remember is that because of that perk, make sure you're going into combat with Iron Skin up already so that when you start popping your abilities, it's coming on down. And this is something you should be doing anyway regardless, you know. Like I said, don't be, don't be shy about popping your Iron Skin. We're missing XP. Mid lane XP. Fuck off, Cigar. Not gonna be able to take it from her, but damn it, I can't fight a Zagara for this. Over here. There's, mm, I don't want to ban it out on the XP, but. long enough. Pop my uh, walls of hope in a second. Right here, get that back off. CC wise, I think I'm going to end up picking up my stun this game. We'll want it. We'll want the stun for sure. Alright, so we're going to make some magic happen up here. Fat boy's going down. And bless shield. Oh, get him! Get him, Milliden! Get him with the jump! Damn it, they just lost bottom. Yes. 
nice. They're cleaning up up top. And we're mid empty. I'm getting lots and lots of XP. Ha! <laughs> Doesn't work like that, Carrie. The body blocks are real, bitch! No! Oh, didn't have the mana for it. One shield glare would have had that there, but, but, but. Yeah! Too late! Dragon Knight is ours. Mana. I gotta go back and get mana. <laughs> Need it. So how are we doing stat wise? Top and XP. It's pretty much just from being in lane. But Siege not doing too bad at 38. 14 on hero. Also not too shabby. Taking these guys down. Gotcha, bitch! Boom! Think I'm afraid of you, Kerrigan? that she's actually really effective at getting mercs, especially if you pick up Burning Rage. So it's 16, um, as I mentioned, Holy Renewal right here. And um, basically this is just, you know, hands down. You pop it out, you get a big heal off every single enemy hero you hit with it. So, you know, the enemy heroes grouped up, that's over a thousand healing right there. That's a quarter of your health, and that's massive. Um, Real quick, since this game is going pretty smooth, let's go into a, a more bigger talent analysis. Um, Knight takes pawn. You don't really need it right here. You know, it's it's a talent that's based around sieging, and ultimately that's not your job as a warrior. Um, as for Righteous Smash, you know, in reality, you don't really have mana issues that are that bad, in my opinion. Like, yeah, it's all right, but you just you don't really need it. You know, you don't need the the mana sacrifice. So here we go, grouping them, slowing them. We're gonna pop unstoppable. And now we got the body block. Oh, he popped the ultimate to get away. But that's the chase. Like, you can see how fast just Joanna coming in, we pushed them back. We were just like, no, go away. 
Um, so as for our other one, as I mentioned, Amplified Healing in some cases can be alright in certain healer comps, but ultimately, Laws of Hope, you know, the regen we're getting from that, and as you can see, that increases, plus the instant on-demand heal. Both of those are just huge, That's and that's a lot to, to consider sacrificing, you know? Um, as for Roar increasing punish damage, also just really an unnecessary skill in my experience. Um, as for the other one, Eternal Retaliation, just, it's, it's not really needed, you know? It's not a move that's there for damage, it's there for the CC, so getting the cooldown off isn't going to really help us that much more, you know? Um, and to our second tier, Crusade March is on. You know, considering this reduces our passive, there's really no comparison here. You just, you know, I'm not going to sacrifice anything. I've tried Battle Momentum, and ultimately I feel that getting my passive reduced is going to help me more than anything else. Um, you know, reducing the speed, once again, it's just not really necessary. And Sins Exposed, while it does help, that extra damage isn't going to make a big enough difference to be a deciding factor in fights. As for ultimates, as I mentioned, both of them very good choices. Just depends what you need for the team. This time we needed a stun, so I picked up the stun. Um, as for here, Burning Rage is, is my standard. It's my go-to here. But as I mentioned, Hold Your Ground, also a decent choice because it's going to strengthen your shield. And on top of that, if it goes down in fight, an instant four seconds off the shield does help out a lot. Um, spell Shield. No, just, it doesn't compare. You know, if you're not going to do Burning Rage, hold your ground, subdue. The 80% slow is all right, but ultimately, once again, it's going to be outclassed by either the extra damage potential you have. Like, just having Burning up is what's letting me get through this camp with relative ease right now. And so I'm either going to go for that if I want the damage, or I'm going to go for hold your ground for the tank. Yeah, hang on, Illy. We're down damage. We need damage. Um, right here. You know, Holy Renewal. Um, just that heal is, it's just too powerful to really pass up, in my opinion. Um, as for our other choices, Fanaticism and Iron Skin's active, 8% movement speed. It's it's just not really needed, unless you're doing like a very, very body block oriented style of play. It's not going to help you out that much. Um, Blessed Hammer, the damage isn't worth it. Imposing Presence is an all right choice, but ultimately there's gonna be better choices. She's dead from one more blind, I think. It's like, look at that. Just Joanna and two supports, and we just chased off all of them. That's crazy. Um, so onto our final talent choice here. As you saw, I just picked up Indestructible really fast without really saying much about it. Um, like I said, if you took Heaven's Sword, Heaven's Fury drops bolts of lightning down out of the air, which damage enemies and reduce the cooldown, making it a very powerful choice. Radiating Aiding Faith will give us two additional bounces, so basically turning into a five-man stun, but ultimately I feel it's going to be overshadowed by Indestructible there. You know, getting a shield that's the equivalent of your maximum health and then on top of that, the fact that it lasts for five seconds, that's, that, you know, that's just devastating in a fight. That's enough that you can usually survive and, you know, make the plays that need to be made. Like right there, man, we just popped our shit, got right up on that, uh, that thrall, stopped him like he was nothing. You 
know, Joanna just gives no fucks. Joanna is up in everyone's shit all the time, just smashing everything. Slow. It's just too potent. It's too fucking potent. Like, look at look at our health too. You know, we're sitting here just slowly regening up. We're low on mana, but we still haven't left the fight. She's amazing. And that's the game. So we actually topped hero damage. Holy shit! I did not expect that at all. That's awesome. Couldn't have really asked for a better Joanna game. That was great. So either way, once again, taking a look at the talents here, we went for Reinforce, Laws of Hope, the Crusade Marches on, Blessed Shield, Burning Rage, Holy Renewal, and then lastly, Indestructible. So either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed Joanna. Um, like I said, she is a blast to play and has very quickly become my favorite warrior in this game. So anyway, thanks for coming by. Definitely a quick one, but no worries. We do still stream plenty of HOTUS on Twitch. So if you guys want to get more of that Heroes of the Storm fix, make sure to stop on by. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next time they drop out a new hero.